welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have the supplies you're going to need for my Christmas in July DIYs. I'm going to bring you five days of Christmas crafts with mostly things I was able to get right now at the Dollar Tree and some things that like Joanne or Michaels but everything is very reasonably priced and I had some questions about materials so I wanted to show you what I have so far and what my plan is for my bullet journal here is my plan and I have five I need to write this one out still but I know what it is going to be so we're gonna do that but first my don't stop believing Santa shirt that I made with my Cricut a couple Christmases ago and in my Christmas cup I do have some iced coffee um, I tried the caramel from the Dollar Tree it's okay I mean it's not it's okay I probably won't buy it again it's not gross it's just not it doesn't taste like caramel it just tastes sweet but anywho got my iced coffee and I am ready to go and I'm super excited. I love Christmas and I cannot wait to do this Christmas in July crafts for you. So in the drop down box below, there will be a list of all the materials I'm going to talk about today um, for you. And I'm going to show you everything I have so far. Let's start. So first we're going to make an ornament. And the ornament is from the Dollar Tree. It's these little buckets. Um, they're just a little white and they're metal. I'm going to fill them. Now, I only have green pom-poms right now, but I have to get white, which I will before Christmas. I'm going to fill them with white pom-poms and I'm going to paint like a red thing around it or a bow and write, um, snowballs five cents. Now to do that, you can use <laughs> reaching a Sharpie. These are Sharpie paint pens. And they're, um, if you listen, these are paint, not the Sharpie marker. You can use stickers. You can use a Sharpie marker. You just find something that sticks to this. I'll probably do it on my Cricut just because I will already have it out for some other projects. But, um, so it's a, it's a little metal bucket, any metal bucket, but these are in the wedding section at the Dollar Tree. I bought these pom-poms a couple years ago at target in a dollar spot but i'll just go look for some white pom-poms about this size and we'll need hot glue and then i'll show you how we're going to make this into an ornament and actually i'm going to make three ornaments out of these so that's our first diy is going to be an ornament perfect right right <laughs> okay we're gonna do ornaments i've got everything kind of laid out a little crazy here now our second project is a joy sign. Now, I have this ribbon. I'm pretty sure I got it at Hobby Lobby, but any ribbon will do. I pulled out a couple. You just want a wide ribbon. And I know at Christmas time they sell these at the Dollar Tree. Wide ribbon. I'm going to go with the Buffalo check. Now, I bought these letters, I think after clearance at some point at Target to spell joy. Um, however, they do sell these letters at Joanne, different shapes, but the same, you know, size letters at Joanne. I believe they're pretty cheap, maybe a dollar, dollar fifty. And you can spell any word you want. Joy, Noel, Believe. I just happen to have Joy. And then I took one of these signs, and I think this was Boo. I don't know what it was. But anyway, one of these signs from the Dollar Tree. I painted it to look like wood and I had done this a while ago but you can just any piece of wood any sign you can use the back paint it whatever color you want but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna create a joy sign so these are the materials you need letters a piece of wood or you could use the foam core those um, poster board things if you get one of those because I'm using those in another project and ribbon if you want, twine. This is just going to be an, an idea, but you can make it your own. And everything I'm doing probably will take hot glue. So this one, these are the materials for the joy sign. And probably some twine. I use a lot of twine in my life. So that's going to be the second project. I should write this down, don't you think? Like, I'm looking for a pencil here. I don't have a pencil, but second day or second project we're going to talk about is the joy sign. 
And if you can't find the letters, paint pens work. You can write it out, chalk it out. So we got that. Then we're gonna make a shadow box. Now I've got a couple of ideas for the shadow box. I purchased this sign that says, keep it simple. Um, we're gonna scrape off the print. I took an X-Acto knife around the back. I think this is the one, yeah it is. I grabbed two of these and that was Wellington that just walked past us. Anyway, I, I, um, I made it so we can take the back off and we'll clean up this glass and then we are going to use a card and oops, some fake snow and I might print something on my Cricut, so some stickers for letters or something. Now, if you don't have a car, I just wanna use this car because look at it, it's cats, come on, who doesn't like that? But, and that'll be the background. If you don't have that, but you have some scrapbook paper, this is one notebook I got, and this is double-sided. Um, I got this last year at Michael's. And it's single-sided llamas, Christmas paper. You can put that in the back. Um, I got this at Joanne. It's just wood grain. You can use the paper, any Christmas card, um, and any shadow box. This is the one I'm choosing to use. Um, the glass in the front with the cardboard in the back. And then, you know, you just take it apart and we will, again, hot glue. And then I'll put a little, maybe a little saying on the front. I've got to print it out. And I'm using my Cricut, but you can use the letter stickers from the Dollar Tree. You just have to lay them out however you want them. Um, so that is going to be our shadow box that we're doing. You can also do it on one of these and um, do a reverse canvas, you know, on the back. And if you put ribbon around here and you put, glue your sign back here, That'd be cute. Um, so that's an idea that I have, but I liked this frame. And I think I bought two, but I definitely have this one now. So that's an idea. And any of these projects, this cardstock will come in handy. I also, and I'm gonna use cardstock, bought one of these and we'll do when we do the shadow box, but this could be a shadow box as well. I took the, the paper out of the back so it's nothing. It doesn't have to say graduation now. And it's like a water glow, but you can put any picture. The little back here just pops off. And I'm going to make that as well. So if you have one of these, and they have heart-shaped ones out now for Mother's Day. This one just happened to have come from graduation. But we're going to do something a little different with it. So I have one of those as well. That'll be on Shadow Box Day. And then we're going to make a Believe sign. I'm gonna say believe on mine. Um, if you're gonna do the believe sign, you'll need nine of these houses. You really only need seven to spell believe, but I'm doing an extra one because I want this the length of my entire mantle. And then I'm gonna probably put some feet on it in the form of some blocks to get a little height when I decorate. But I'm gonna glue, after I decide my pattern, I'm gonna glue all nine together with some E6000. I'm gonna spray paint it and decorate it up and I will show you. So it requires these, but if you can't find any more of these, um, any of these wooden signs, this one is from Target's Dollar Spot. This is a chalkboard, but Dollar Tree sells those wooden signs that are plain in the back. You can use those and spell words, Noel, Believe, Welcome, Mary, Joy, anything you want. Um, it, these would work as well, those wooden signs. Um, so you'll need the E6000 these. Now I bought at the Dollar Tree, Wellington, what are you doing baby? Ah, I bought, and these come in two packs, and these are just little tiny clamps, but I will show you what I use them for. So I'm going to glue, put the glue on them, and I'm going to do this on a flat surface because they're not all flat, but anywho. Put the glue on them and then use the clamp to hold them together to dry overnight. And then, you know, I'll do a couple because I bought two packs so I can do like four together. Glue them with the E6000 and let them dry and then just keep going, adding more as I go, you know. And that way 
I will have a very good secure. You can use hot glue, but I want this to last because I'm very excited about this idea. So I want it to last and then I'm spray painting it. So white spray paint for this. I'm just keeping, trying to keep all of my projects together. Um, and to decorate that, I have some of these tiny little brushes, the little um, bottle brush trees. I have some bells and then I got these at the Dollar Tree, just some of the little wooden pieces of all the different sizes. Um, so we're gonna use those to decorate it and some ribbon maybe, I'm not sure what else, but that's the basics of what you're gonna need of those houses and then any little doodahs that you might have. And you, what we can do is build them now and then around the holidays you can, if you don't already have some of these, you can buy them and uh, decorate it later. Or wait until Christmas to do this, save all your stuff until the holidays. But that's just what I'm choosing to decorate with that. And let's see, the leave sign ornament, shadow box, joy sign. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the advent calendar. Now, for the advent calendar, I'm using foam core board that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut it. You can use cardboard, you can use a gift box. I used that one year for this. My shoulder I had physical therapy today I'm super sore um, you can use wood if you want to make it a little more permanent so you'll need a base of some sort and then I picked up these condiment cups because I'm not making this to keep every year this is for the pets probably or my cousins I'm not sure but anyway um, excuse me sir excuse me excuse me these cats are crazy go lay down please um, condiment cups I have 24 here the other thing you can use from the Dollar Tree if you want to make it a little more permanent and something you can use every year those plastic condiment cups they have that are washable with the white lid you can get 24 of those use e6000 and glue it down to like a piece of wood and now you've got an advent calendar that's gonna last you a couple years for your kids for the same cost the wood might cost you a little more but at um, Home Depot if you go in the back and look in their remnants where they cut and somebody doesn't take the rest they sell those at very inexpensive prices but this is how I'm doing mine but you can use any kind of a cup hey you can use solo cups if you want them big and the kids can punch into them and take things out but this is what I'm using so I grab those now to put the numbers on the lid oh you need a gift wrap whatever gift wrap you want or brown paper or paint it or not I am going to take these circles. I cut these with my Cricut. If you have a punch, you can use a punch. You can buy circle stickers from um, the Dollar Tree or the hardware or office supply store. Um, you can hand cut them out, trace the lid and cut them out. But what I'm going to do when we do this is use these circles. So I have white and then I'm gonna layer them with red and green. Um, and I'm using the glue dots. And then I have these letters, or no, letters, yes, these letters, these numbers. This, um, these came out of a, one of these scrapbooking papers. And I'm gonna cut this down and I will use these numbers. And we will need, again, hot glue, or you can use more of these little dots. I will probably use hot glue or regular glue or um, for this, I could totally use scrapbooking glue, like the roller glue things that they do sell at the Dollar Tree. Um, to attach them to the lids, I will definitely use hot glue. But to create the little numbers, and you can do these any old way you want, but these are the materials that I have right now. If you don't have a piece of scrapbook paper, you can take a marker and write numbers on here. You can cut the numbers out of gift wrap. You can use sticker numbers. Um, if you wait until Christmas to do the numbers, Target generally sells round stickers with numbers on them, which I think I have another one around here somewhere, but I don't know where. And I decided that I liked the idea of a square number on a round. I mean, that's just me. Um, so yeah, I have that. And that is all the supplies that we'll need to do the Christmas in July. I'm uh, not sure when in July, maybe the middle of the month it's gonna come out. Um, and I, like I said, down below will be a list of the supplies with each project that I have so far. We may use some other things, scissors, hot glue, uh, markers, paintbrushes, pencils, whatever. 
Um, but the idea is you're gonna want some numbers for the advent calendar, some type of a picture frame to do the shadow box, some type of stickers with letters, and they have the poster letters out right now that are pretty big to do um, on the houses. The, I don't have them handy, but they are the, the letters that are the numbers and letters that go for the poster boards. Those would work to make your sign that says believe, Noel, joy, whatever. Um, so grab what you think you're going to need. And I hope these are some good ideas for you and that you enjoy and you join me for Christmas in July because I'm totally excited. La, 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 la. All right, everybody, you have a good night and I will talk to you later. Bye. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have a good 